viewers, this is Ryze. Welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Alright, took care of those guys, and I got some more to take care of, so I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back now, and uh, let's keep going. What the hell is that thing? Eh, it's probably nothing. Let's just check the door. Huh, doesn't seem to open. Well, that's not good. I guess we have to examine this thing. Oh well. It's some sort of humanoid robot. Like Gato. <clears throat> I hope he doesn't sing and attack with his belly button. Oh, come on! It doesn't need steroids! <laughs> Actually, Robo really doesn't need any power tabs. I guess I kind of spoiled it. Yeah, he's a party member. A very good party member, actually. Well, yeah, Marley hates all titles. She's like that. She's weird. What's your name? R66-Y. Oh, right. Yeah. No. No, there's no way in hell we're going through this game calling you R66-Y. Robo's much better. Now, Robo is interesting. He's got probably the best abilities in the game, but most of them work on his magic stat, which is probably one of the... No, it's one of the worst in the game. <laughs> I mean, it's on par with Kronos, and that's bad. So, because of that, it's recommended that you give all of your magic tabs to Robo. By doing so, Robo's magic-based attacks will be incredibly useful for pretty much, for, yeah, the entire game. In particular, one certain healing spell. So, I'm going to be doing that. It does kind of make the game easier than it already is, but that's okay. Now, we want to have Lucas stay behind because Marley is infinitely better for this upcoming area. Because we have access to Aura World with Marley in our party. And right now, Robo does not have anything that heals everybody. <coughs> oh yeah, let's go over what Robo starts with. Oh yeah, if you hit the uh, Y button, you switch the dialog box to the different vertical side of the screen. Uh, Alright, he's got a lot of power that he starts with. Not a lot of speed. Uh, now, you don't need the Defender. He really doesn't need any more. Oh, okay. I know what we need to do. He really doesn't need any more defense. He's got a lot of defense, but I want to switch Luka in for... Just one short while here, one second here, and we want to get rid of the speed belt on her. Yeah, I give her the bandana, just temporarily, and then let's put Marley back in. And equip Robo with the speed belt, because Robo is slow as a box of rocks. Which is not good. However, I wouldn't recommend you give any more than one speed tab to Robo. And there's a certain reason for that. I'll get into that later. At least not until after a certain story event. Then I would give him more speed tabs, but... Well, you'll find out about that later. Anyway, here's where we want to go. But I want to take a little pause break here, so I'll take care of that, and I'll be right back.
All right, uh, let's keep going. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Whoa! Well, we got a new enemy here. This is the acid. Okay. Uh, anyway, they're weak to lightning, so just use slash. For the most part, your techs and your attacks actually won't be using... Won't be, uh... Oh, now I have aura beam. That's another heal all technique. Won't be, uh... Doing much damage to that guy, but Slash will one hit him because he's only got 10 HP. And now we have more buggers. Actually, these are debuggers. They are also weak to lightning. And they have a bit more HP than the uh, other buggers. They have 120. Now, for Robo, I would use Rocket Punch. And only Rocket Punch. Because for 1 MP, you can do slightly more damage than your normal attack. So, why not? You might as well. And Chrono should use Slash on these guys, because, like I said, they're weak to lightning. I think I said that. I don't know, I can't remember. Okay. Take care of those guys, and, uh, we actually want to go to the factory area first. You can skip this area, but, uh, there's some treasure in here. So, I don't want to skip it, so let's go. Okay. Let's go over here first. Get a secret passage. You got a mid other in there. Eh, you can't go that way. Huh. What's over here? A treasure chest. And we get a Robin Ball. That is a new weapon for Marley. It's a, a minor upgrade. Take what you can get. Marley really doesn't need <laughs> more weapons, but. Oh well. Might as well keep them upgraded, right? Okay. Now, what you want to do here is run along the side. If you touch those guys, what will happen is you'll get picked up and thrown into a bunch of random battles. Well, not random, but... Come on, come on, come on. Ah! Damn. Alright, fast forward. Okay, these guys are the Proto 3s. They're weak to shadow elemental damage, so. And they have a, quite a bit of HP. So, just Rocket Punch, Chrono Attacks, and Marley Attacks. They're slightly stronger than the Proto 2s that we fought earlier. Now, when you get access to stealing, you may want to come back here to fight these guys because. You can charm full tonics from them. And we get access to Robo's Laser Spat. Now that is based on Robo's Magic Stat. It's it's uh, elemental based. And since these guys, the Proto 3s, are weak to shadow, that's obviously what we want to do now. So let's slash the debugger. Oh, wow. Yeah, I love the counterattack in this game. Marley will finish him off. Actually, Robo's laser spin should be able to destroy both of them. Well, maybe not. Not quite powerful enough. It's still a good tech, though, because it hits everybody. It's not an area of effect attack. It just plain hits everybody. Now, if you did the bike race, I'm fair, I think you can get a magic tap from there. If you got one, you should give it to Robo. Really not necessary. I'm terrible at that game, so I didn't feel like spending hours failing at it. Alright. <clears throat> Took care of those guys, and uh, here we are. We're now at the other end. I don't want to be at the other end. There we go. Uh, there. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's see if we can make it. No, can't make it. Okay, well, I need to get on the other side of them, so I'll just meet you there. Okay, uh, here we are. 
keep going here. And we have some, what are these guys, bugs? Yeah, just normal bugs. Let's try a cyclone here. That'll seem like, it seems like a fairly good idea. If I can get my turn off. Thank you. Alright, hurry up and die. You know what, let's show off Aura Beam. Now, Rocket Roll is a dual tech that involves Laser Spin and Cyclone. It's a more powerful Laser Spin, but for the most part, you can out-damage it, so who cares? You know, I'm talking about with the sum of their single techs. Except for a particular battle. Okay, I took care of those guys, and I'm pretty much out of time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play, Let's Play Chrono Trigger, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day, guys.